then we must make education um, accessible to everybody that wants to have that education. So I agree absolutely that education from the primary to secondary should be free mm. for everybody. All right, we'll talk more on infrastructure, but let's go over to our next line of conversation. We're at Independence in 1960. It was the dream of the founding fathers of Nigeria and indeed the world that the country attains greatness. While that lofty dream is yet to be attained, many people believe that Nigerians can look back to see how far the country has come in forging ahead in this journey to greatness. In his nationwide broadcast, President Tinubu expressed hope that despite many challenges facing the country, it remains a strong, united and viable sovereign nation. Let's share that with you. Exactly 64 years ago, our founding fathers choose democracy as a form of government and launch the dream of a great country that will lead the rest of Africa out of poverty, ignorance, and underdevelopment, a beacon of hope for the rest of Africa and the world. Over six decades later, we can look back and Nigerians worldwide can see how well we have succeeded in realizing the lofty dream of our founding fathers. The world is witnessing and benefiting from the can-do spirit of Nigerian people, our massive intellectual capacity, and our enterprise and industry in all vocations, from art to science, technology to infrastructure. The dreams that our founding fathers envisaged are still work in progress every day. We put our hand on the plow, determined to do a better job of it. While it is tempting to focus on what has been left undone and where we have stumbled as a nation, we must never lose sight of how far we have come in forging and holding our country together. All right, um, Mikhail, the president talked about uh, infrastructure development, but how have we fared, you know, from 1960 till date? How have we fared? Are we getting better or what are your thoughts? I here? think that um, when you look back, mm. especially in terms of roads, roads uh, road network, okay. Nigeria has done very well. Nigeria has done very well because um, when we were young, at least we could literally count the functional routes that we, we, we had. But things have improved tremendously. More roads have been constructed. Rural areas opened up. It is, um, it is ongoing work. So we still have a lot to do by way of um, um, fixing our deplorable roads. But in terms of road network, I would say we have done well. Before 1970, there was no dual carriageway in Nigeria. In Nigeria. But later, we had, um, during the Obasanjo era, uh, military era, mm. we had the Lagos by the Expressway. And then the, uh, the first, the first Dual carriageway in northern Nigeria was constructed by Ibrahim Babangida. That is the Abuja Kaduna Kano Expressway. Okay. I even remember that it was the first Prime Minister of uh, Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, that he invited to so come and inaugurate the mm -hmm. project. And they drove from Kano because he landed in Kano. There was a doba for him. Okay. And they drove from Kano all the way to Abuja on that excellent road. Mm. That road now has been reconstructed, you know, more bridges, 
have uh, been constructed on it. Um, the Buhari administration uh, using funds from the so Sovereign Wealth uh, uh, Fund as well as um, the Abacha Loot. We are, we, are, we are almost done with that road. Mm. When you look back, Mala Mamino Kano International Airport okay. is the first airport in Nigeria. It began operation in 1936. It actually started operation before the one here in Lagos. Today, look at how many airports we have. Look at how many airports we have. So, again, it is... With the growth, you know, with, You see, the, the, <coughs> we need to get the private sector more involved. involved okay. Let's have PPP mm. um, initiatives. That's the only way we can maintain our roads. But I've heard arguments that, okay, the quality of roads back then and the quality of roads now, back then was mm. better. But what, what, what are your thoughts on that? You see, the thing is, the pressure on funds at this time is far greater than that time because it's a country that is expanding, the population is okay. greater. And the rate of use of the road will eventually get, is, uh, get it eroded. In those days, those I'm roads were very, I'm, if you are driving even uh, some of the roads, some of the roads that I will all construct exactly. but they are not dual carriageway. The, the, our society, in terms of the, our, our country, in terms of the number of vehicles, flying yeah. roads, mm. are far more than before. Far more. So if you don't expand those roads, people will die. There will be more accidents, mm. head-on collision, especially mm. on narrow roads. But those roads, I agree, were very durable. They were <coughs> constructed by LAO, Banjoko, yes. Dumez, mm. you know, and, and the rest of them. They are solid, but we've had to now expand them okay. because it's inevitable. Sure. Population sure. growth. Look at sure. Nigerian population in uh, 1963. <coughs> it was just a little over 50 million, less than 60 million. But today we are talking about 200 and over something. Over 200 uh, million. So the, mm. the, and with greater population, there's greater yeah. pressure on infrastructure. So we must find a way to maintain infrastructure. Mm. That's why I said we must bring in mm. the private, uh, the private sector. sector involvement. Government cannot fund roads alone. In fact, they can't pay. A lot of the contractors, they are owing their contractors trillions of naira. Mm. So until we bring in... Um, private sector. Yes, population. we won't be able to solve mm. some of these problems mm. that we are. How will in, in, you, you know, infrastructure? infrastructure in terms of infrastructure, I would say that we have done very well. From 1960 to date, we have done very well. In fact, actually... The only thing, the, the number one thing you can credit government, successive government in this country for, is in the issue of infrastructure. But we have done exceedingly well. Even the military, mm. as they set us back, most of the bridges that you see in Lagos were built by the military. Yes. You understand? Mm. And so each government, each government improved on the state of infrastructure in the country. And they've done, they've done well. They've done well when it comes to infrastructure. Especially during the, during the regime of... Um, 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 no, this immediate um, yeah, Buhari. Buhari. Mm. They did a lot in terms of infrastructure. infrastructure Different trains things. And they collected, yeah, yeah, they yeah. collected a lot of loans, did a lot of trains, did a lot of roads. I was, think it's that a, was, a, a rail traffic, rail, uh, this, rail, uh, transport. rail transport that mm. we've not done. Was not done. Yeah. But yeah, now they started concrete. Because they've, know, they've concrete done, yeah, that's what I said. Now. When it this comes to roads, we've done, we've done well. Even, they, even during that um, Buhari's government, they introduced the idea of companies building roads yes. and then using yeah. it as tax relief yes. and all that. Yeah. So when it comes to infrastructure, I think we have all done right, gentlemen, very well. Because of our time, the president spoke to Nigerians today. I'll just give you 30 seconds. What do you make of this? Yeah, know, I think 30. it's a good speech. Did it uh, it, yes, it showed. Empathy. Yes, it showed empathy. It showed empathy. Yeah, it, no, the, the president showed empathy. Mm. To you know, it's a very nice thing to tell people that look, I understand what you are going through mm. because it is economic challenges that is paramount now. In the, that is number one in the country okay. now. And I was able to tell Nigerians that look, I understand. I understand. I feel your pain. Mm. I know what you are going through, mm. and we are working hard to solve that problem. Okay. That is very good. And then he, he was able to now some things that they plan to do and to give hope. Because when things are tough like this, 
you need to give hope mm. that, okay, we are working on the economy that is light at the end of the tunnel. Of the tunnel. And very soon, things mm. will start changing. So I think, by a large, is a good speech. All right, Bikir, we all saw this speech. What, mm. what do you make out of it? You yes. talked about that. The empathy was there. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? No, it's inevitable a leader must show empathy. Sure. People are going through a lot at mm. this time. So it was good that he talked about it. He cannot pretend not to know sure. that people are going through sure. a lot. You know, and um, he, he, he talked about that. Yes, and the need for us to continue to sacrifice. What Nigerians should be happy to see is for progress in the areas where he's making progress to continue. For example, um, the president met, came to government at a time when we were spending about 97% of, of our, our debt revenue to, revenue. Hmm. to service debt. Hmm. That's has improved. It's now yeah. in the region of 60, 60 I think 60, 67. 67, 67 yeah. Yes, so that's improvement. Mm. And more money is coming in. Yeah, because we can see that in they the are blocking area. the avenues through which resources are leaking. Mm. So more money is coming in. We, will end, we are beginning to earn a lot more. Okay. And I know that um, their plan mm. is to even reduce the human interference. Okay. Which ensures that oh, people are able to steal money. We will get technology involved, okay, and, good, and, and um, so that our revenue generating agencies, mm. the incidence of theft, stealing, they what to go to, to uh, the country, mm. is reduced drastically by the infusion of technology. Mm. So they are working along that line, and I know that that will bring results. Okay. But Nigerians need to see the pain that they are going through. East, whatever we say. No one will remember that some progress have been made okay. until they begin to see progress in terms of their welfare. Exactly. Ah, so the issue, I want to see the um, price of petrol come down, for example. Yeah, Whatever we are doing, way. whether it is um, Naira for crude that we are doing with Dangote, it must end up in the reduction of, of the price. The, of of price. Yeah. And thankfully now, the landing cost is going down True. across the world mm. they are reducing uh, the price of uh, gasoline okay. even reduced because All the right. landing cost mm. is going down mm. it has responded to the global okay. decline in right. global prices so nigerians want to see mm. that petrol price yes. go down mm. nigerians want to see the value of their currency appreciate, appreciate. everything mm. revolves around it yes. right. if we are unable to do this just I give me a little one minute if we are unable to do that, mm. whatever the government does, it will not people will say, no, exactly. they've not done anything. Mm. That is always my advice. Correct. I told President Buhari at that time, I said, if you build houses in the sky for people, if they remain hungry, they will not they credit you with achieving anything. Mm. And, that, and that, you can't even bring any discussion about what the government is doing. People don't want to hear. True. They are concerned about the True. But anyway, thank you very much, gentlemen. How time flies. I wish we had more time. We, yeah, could, have, you know, we could have talked a lot more. No. But anyway, thank you so much, Mayor. Thank you My very pleasure. much for having this conversation. Yeah. The veteran. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much for having this conversation. And uh, that's it on John List Hangout today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast of this episode tonight at 11 and join us on Sunday from 1.30 the 3.30 p.m. for Journalist Hangout on Sunday. We are on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. I am Benga Oreshegun. Happy Independence Day anniversary once again, and God bless Nigeria.